Hey everybody, it's Mark T, and it's time for a Doctor Who review. This episode is called <coughs> Flatline. And this episode revolves around very strange uh, creatures that are very two-dimensional. We don't get much uh, information on them aside from the fact that <coughs> excuse me. Aside from the fact that they are two-dimensional creatures. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see. They are two-dimensional creatures that like take human beings and turn them into sort of like paint like two-dimensional creatures as well. It's never really specified on what exactly they're doing, but uh, they do like the doctor and everyone else basically places them as monsters, <coughs> and that's basically what this episode is all about. Uh, this episode starts off with the doc and Clara ending up in Bristol, and turns out that something is taking energy away from the TARDIS, causing it to shrink, not on the inside, but on the outside. It makes it look more like a, a toy. Um, which means that the Doctor, who is stuck in the TARDIS, has to let Clara do all the work and be the Doctor for this uh, particular episode. We also see that the Doctor notices that Clara has not been telling the truth to Dan Pink, when in the previous episode she decided to continue working with the Doctor and now, you know, it's a whole great big jumbly thing. We also run into a new character named Riggsy, who is a graffiti artist. And uh, we hear that, that his aunt had uh, gone missing. Anyways, the major crux of this episode is basically focused on Clara helping out these people that are basically cleaning up graffiti from these tunnels and figuring out what exactly these creatures are. Um, it's never really specified, as I said. They're basically just two-dimensional creatures that just kill kill people by by absorbing them and turning them into two-dimensional beings in general. That actually makes it very interesting. And, uh, <clears throat> and it just goes on like that. Uh, Aside from Riggsy, we also run into a couple of other characters, but their names aren't really stated. Um, outside of that, <clears throat> in any case, the episode ends up coming to a climax when uh, Clara and the rest are <clears throat> going through a tunnel, and and basically the creatures are attacking. Up until she comes up with a brilliant idea. Because the creatures were taking energy from the TARDIS, it's never explained how this has happened, so I find this a little strange. But since they're absorbing energy from the TARDIS, like, Claire uses a clever trick to basically have them give the energy back into the TARDIS, which causes the Doctor to come out and save the day as usual. Um, the weird thing is is that like even the Doctor seems to explain the shortcomings of this episode. Uh, not to spoil anything, but... <laughs> But he basically comes out of the TARDIS as soon as it's re-energized and says, like, like, says he wants to study them. He wanted to understand them a bit more, which I'm noticing a bit more about the Doctor. Like, generally, every Doctor has this type of attitude, but um, Peter Capaldi's Doctor especially has, has an attitude of studying. Not so, much, not so much outright stopping, but studying them more. <clears throat> uh, but eventually he comes to the to the point where he can't, you know, he can't defy, like, he can't differentiate between the fact that they're evil or good, so he just ends up sending them back to their own home world, um, with the possibility that we might see them again, or that they could all have been killed on the way, on the way there. Um, for the most part, it's been an interesting episode. We see how Clara would do in the Doctor's shoes. And she apparently learned a lot for the past few months that she has been working with him. Which is interesting to see. <clears throat> in any case, in the preview of the next episode, it looks as though... Like, it looks as though they're not even trying to hide any facts from the children in the school. Because we see in the preview that Dan Pink is taking, apparently, is taking his classroom on a trip with the Doctor, with monsters and aliens and, and tigers and stuff. Um, so it's going to be really interesting. I can't say it's next time, though, since I still have three episodes to catch up on. Otherwise, though, it was a good episode, 
And I uh, hope you all enjoyed this review, and I'll, I'll see you all later. Peace.